Now Kingston having lost five in a row, all by one goal. What does that tell you? Well, that tells me that uh, they too have had trouble finding their identity and uh, you need to establish certain roles. You need to pull together as a group and somehow you win as a team and you lose it as a team. So they need to learn from that. Obviously, we're not happy or satisfied with losing. Obviously, we're competitive and we want to win. But I think uh, the big thing for us is sticking together as a team and uh, making sure that um, no matter what results we get, we uh, work as hard as we can every day because we know if we outwork teams, then we're going to end up getting the results we want more often than not. And Kingston loses defensive zone coverage. What a breakdown for Kingston. All three of their forwards shifted over to try to snuff out Roberts, who already had Rasslin and on him. Yeah, obviously we had a good start this season and then things kind of fell off. We lost six in a row and that's, that's obviously not what we want as a team. You know, we're a hard-working team and if, if we don't show up, you know, if, if, and if not everyone's on board and, and then they just, we just don't play our game and things don't go well and then we don't get the results we want. So we obviously want to change the mood in the log room, make it more friendly and, and happier and then hopefully get some wins. Bitten attacking the outside with speed here, beats Paquette. And it's 22, Jacob Rahani coming back to help him out, and he gets called. Uh, you know, it's definitely not the result we want. Uh, we want to be winning games here, but, uh, you know, sometimes these things happen, and it's about getting back to your game and working hard through these tough times and finding out what your team's really made of. A long time since we've seen the France with this little push. Yep. They haven't had a whole lot of pushback tonight. Not, not tonight, not last night, so we still got half a game to go. And the Long way to go here. I, I think we we don't have to like take any extra pressure. I think we have to focus more on what we are doing, work harder, uh, be more ready for the games. Obviously, I feel a little bit, you know, um, you know, I just try to be a good leader and help everyone stay in the positive direction and everyone, you know, play their game. Jacob Paquette back out on the ice again after serving that 10 minute misconduct. Yeah, for sure. There's definitely a little pressure in there, but uh, you can't grip your stick too tight and you can't get too worried about it because at the end of the day, it's still a hockey game and uh, one win will get us back on track here. That's a well, a costly turnover by the Kingston Frontenacs, and the last guy you want to give the puck away to is Jack Kapaka. And Kapaka, with a quick rear shot, gets the Greyhounds on the board. I think you definitely feel a bit of pressure, but it's uh, it's pretty key to, I guess, tone that out and make sure that you're focused on uh, the task at hand because uh, no no one gets any better from uh, gripping their stick tighter or anything like that. We have to you have to play loose and make sure that you're uh, having fun with it because if if you don't, then it just it becomes uh, difficult to accomplish what you want. And they'll be countered by a line that's having a lot of fun up front for the front next. That's Ryan Cranford, Tyler Burney, and Sam Field. Uh, no, I think for myself personally, I always try to go to the rink with the same attitude every day. Like, I, I like to have fun, and like I, I try to come to the rink and bring that every day. And uh, I think if you start changing what you're doing, it's not going to do anything but hurt you. So uh, I just try to work hard every day and have fun. Mm, I don't think that changed that much. I'm uh, trying to give just my best every night. My everything to this team, score goals and have my team best and of course help the younger guys because I'm now a second year player. Uh, personally I don't. Um, I try to stay that sh uh, steady shutdown guy and uh, you know I, I don't think changing your game is, is the way to do it because you're obviously here for a reason. The way you've been playing well, your, your, your career is, is why you're here so I don't think changing anything is going to help the team at all. Nothing. Greyhound lead. Another breakdown by the front next one. Absolutely. We're seeing these breakdowns uh, seem to be a common occurrence here for this young defense. Yeah, there are some positives there. Uh, you know, like you said, there's uh, been some one-goal games, but at the same time, uh, there, that's when we need to crack down and, and find a win, way to win those games, which uh, unfortunately recently we haven't maybe, but uh, I think we'll get back to winning those games here shortly. Uh, I think we, ha we have to learn 
from those games that like uh, not turning the puck over over again and uh, and take yeah just learn from those games like what we can do better uh, next game and uh, and practice. Uh, I guess it's about like um, a lot of the times when we've been in these one goal games, there's been a, a couple key breakdowns where we've uh, given the game away, I guess, and uh, we, we want to make sure that we uh, snuff those out and make sure that we're able to uh, play a full 60 minutes and work hard for a full 60 minutes and then we'll start getting the results we want again. 7-2 right now in favor of the battalion, a five goal lead with six to go. Kingston who entered the game with five straight losses, one goal margins, and each of them, that streak will come to an end, but the losing streak, unfortunately, for the black and gold will not.